Flipsters, we're back. Did you miss us? I know that you did. Sorry it's been a minute. I know we've been MIA, but we've been building our business so that we can do even bigger and better flips for you guys. And it has been a summer full of renovations and projects. We have so much to share with you guys. We cannot wait to get into it, but first, Probably our biggest and best episode yet. We are sponsored in this video by Vineyard Valley, a new mobile game that centers around renovating an old dilapidated mansion called Tangled Vines. Who's better at renovating old dilapidated properties than us? The Flipsters. The game's a ton of fun. You play collapsible puzzle games in order to win credits toward renovating the mansion and also solving its mysteries. And the updates are legit. They've partnered with interior design maven Genevieve Gorder. You may know her from TLC's Trading Spaces. She's big time. So they said, we challenge you guys to renovate one of your projects inspired by Vineyard Valley the game. And we said, you're on, buddy. Challenge accepted. We never turned down a challenge. So don't have a clue what we're talking about? You can download Vineyard Valley at jamcity.me slash Austin Flipsters. Click the link below. You can play the game for free and support our channel in the process. Let's get into the video and let's flip this baby right. Come on. I'm Lauren and I'm Lincoln and we are happily married but not to each other we're old friends from college and we're flipping houses in the Austin Texas area and we're taking you along for the ride I've got the time. Today is a very special day. Why, Lauren? We've secured another property. It's under contract. And we want to go and check it out. But first, we're driving in the neighborhood. It's in South Austin. We want to check out comparable homes that are on the market right now to see what kind of like finished product that we need to kind of target in order for our flip to be successful. All right, where are we going? Where's this place? Oh, there it is. This curb appeal is awesome on this one. I think they really made it feel very charming. Like, looks awesome. All right, let's check it out. Ooh, all right. Wow. Ooh, these are pretty. Look at this hardware. That's awesome. Wow, that's really nice. Ooh, I like this. Ooh. All right, so this is a great size backyard. I love all the windows in this house. So that is how a comparable house in our neighborhood that we're about to flip in looks. Can we hit that? I don't know, that's pretty nice. All right, we're gonna go check out our property now and see if you guys think our house could look anything like this. So this is the new property. We currently have it under contract. Uh, first impressions? Uh, the bars on the window are not very friendly. Uh, I got this hedge is giving me the creeps. This busy street and apartment complex. I don't know. I don't know about this one. I can't believe you didn't say busy street and apartment complex first. You didn't even notice what's above oh, your head? I was too distracted by the traffic. Oh, okay, yeah. When I first saw the comp, I was excited because our house right now looks like garbage. And I know if we can hit that same design look that we can get that same exit, money in the bank. I don't know, man. The comp made me a little bit nervous because they did a great job on it. And you know, that's a lot to live up to. What do we get this one for? We actually bought this thing for $315,000. Okay. Which is pretty that good for this area. That makes it better. That makes a lot better. It's a three bed, two bath. About How many square feet? 1,400 square feet. And okay. it was built in the 60s. Let's see if the inside is a little bit nicer than the outside at least. Okay, let's go check it out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> wow. Ooh, can you feel the love tonight? Check out I, the ceiling. It's glittery. It's Ooh. glam. Oh my gosh, this is a long hallway. Yeah, the flooring is completely gone. I don't know what's up with that. Okay, this space is better. Yeah. This is a nice like kitchen living combo. Kind of modern, really. I love these vaulted ceilings. That's a yeah. lot to work with, yeah? Yeah. What about the beams? I'm not okay with this one. Look at this. Yeah, it kind of <laughs> divides the space, it's, huh? It's right in the middle of this room and do you think it's load bearing? That's a great question. I don't know. We need a seat because that's uh, obvious. First thing I do is get rid of this and then you've got a really open space. The fireplace isn't bad. That looks awesome right? actually. I'm kind of digging this around. What do you think? Yeah. Brass is having a moment. When I say brass is having a moment, I don't mean 80s tacky brass. I mean the cool antique brass. It's my personal favorite metal and it's all over Instagram. I mean, hello. I think this kitchen's a great size. I kind of like this island. I don't think this island matches the original cabinets though, yeah? They must have put this in after. 
Probably. I don't know if they believed in islands in the 60s. Does that mean none of us can leave the island? I definitely think a uh, fan should go. Yeah, fa fan in the kitchen is like, I don't think that's even up to the housing code. Yeah, I don't think so. But overall, I think layout good. Kitchen seems fine. It's really about that pole blocking the living area from the kitchen. Yeah, agreed. I think the deal really hinges on whether we can take this beam or not. It's gonna be a disaster if we have to leave this thing in. So you got outside access off your main area. All right, let's check it out. So, oh, you already have like a little patio slab out here. Obviously we got foundation work in this thing. Yeah, we need to get a bit on that. Yeah, we'll have foundation looked at. It looks like there's two outdoor areas to sit. Oh my goodness. Whoa. <laughs> what is this? Huge. Take me out to the dance hall. Wow. You can have like a polka party back here. Yeah, we could just rent it out at the dance hall, make a little side cash, dude. This is kind of cool. Oh, look at here. A little work shed or something? Oh. This is the saddest work shed <laughs> ever. Oh no. Oh. Sorry, oh. Grandma and Grandpa. Well, hmm. well, plenty of backyard space, at least. Yeah. All right, let's go see the master. Okay, so this is a master. You got access off the living room. This is kind of weird. A little awkward. But it's a huge room. My goodness. Oh, here's what you do when you want a little privacy. You just flip, <laughs> flip the switch, hotel style. Okay. Wow. What is going on with that fan? Goodness, it's like. Oh my gosh. It's like they tried to install it, and clearly, I don't and know. Is that board keeping the ceiling up? What in this the is, world? This is some DIY action right okay. here, and not going in a good wrong. way. I'm a DIY girl. I'm all about saving some money and doing it yourself, putting in a little sweat equity. But there's some things you shouldn't touch, and electrical is one of those. It looked like they had hand taped this fan up there and it was gonna come crashing down in the middle of the night. No bueno. They just broke a window and just like, nah, yeah, screw that it. tape solves everything. <laughs> okay, let's check out the master bath, yeah? Yep. This is pretty small. And you got that window looking out right to the street, but you got yeah. bars on it though. <laughs> you need secure. What? You got the shell sink. Famous shell sink. Why was why were shells all the rage? Why was everybody doing a shell sink? I was, see, there's so many houses. <laughs> I don't know. This is like before Pinterest. Yeah, how did people share design ideas before the internet? They had to get a mail them. Did they just like go and look and like the shell sink guy was like all up? And he was just like the best salesman out there. It was a traveling shell sink salesman. He would knock on your door. And he'd be like, "Hey guys, you want a you want <laughs> a shell have sink? Honk as a phone." He'd say, I'll call it into the office. And they'd be like, I'll call your order in. I'd be like, oh, it's, I work at the ocean. It's just, it do you want to like hear the waves. it? This is, <laughs> that's what sold you on a shell sink. Well, people bought in hardcore. We know you guys are watching these videos for these dumb ass jokes, okay? Bear with us. <laughs> They'll get worse. What? Another secret message. Go out and live life instead of sitting and reading about it. Huh. No sh grandma and grandpa. <laughs> That. Listen, I'm sorry, I don't even think that joke made sense. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to offend any grandmas or grandpas or grandchildren, which is a lot of you. Okay, so you do have access off your main hallway here to your master, so we might want to think about closing off that one to the living room. I don't think you need the one to the living room. Yeah. It's just awkward and why is it there? So I'm digging this faux paint job. Wow, it's like uh, the sky or something. I think I, I remember. Never mind, I don't know. Where are you going with like, that? I don't know, well, that's why I stopped. But yeah. I'm you know, sometimes these projects just leave us speechless, and we have a lot to, to say. Look out, Joey. Joey. <laughs> Look, it's the Cat House 2.0. <laughs> this time with a dog. You know I love a good decorative light switch. Okay? I know you do. I can't I know say you no. Do. This is pretty basic. You're talking about. Top floor, vanity, to new toilet, tub and tile, paint, paint, scrape the ceilings, and a new light fixture. Done. Easy. Uh, I think that just leaves the bedrooms. bedrooms. Yep. Just basic bedroom. I think new carpet, paint, scrape ceilings. All right. Okay. Next one. Digging the fan. Whoa. Groovy, I, groovy. Did you bring your crayons? I brought my 1993 fanny pack with me for this <laughs> bad boy. And Kelly Kapowski this is here. Like, this, yeah, this, this person had a lot of feelings that lived here. Wow. They had a lot of opinions. Express yourself. Oh. Sticker. Is this a picture of you? <laughs> with a mustache? Rude. Yeah. Oh, that's not that's you. That's rude. Okay, finally the garage. Wow, it's big. Mm-hmm. 
Obviously the garage doors are crappy. This what floor. is going on? <laughs> Ceiling is falling rock. down. Oh my gosh, so much sheetrock work. Uh, I don't know, dude. I know it looks scary that the roof is caving in or something, but it's actually just the sheetrock that attaches to the framing. It's a pretty easy fix, but when this foundation shifts a little, it can crack and make it fall down. This house is a lot of work. This is a lot. I don't know. I mean, it could be, it could turn out awesome. This place could be awesome. And the price we got it for and the price that things are going for in this neighborhood, yeah. like, this could still be an enticing offer. It's just a lot of work. It could also make us delete our channel, so. <laughs> The main focus of this house is gonna be the kitchen. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get a new island put in here with some banquette seating. We're gonna remove this, it's not load bearing, and it'll give us more access to have a dining space. Adding a sliding door over here to let more light in. Over here, rather than having access to your master off of the main living space, we're gonna wall this area off, give this room a little more purpose. So the main things we're gonna have to address on this house is definitely gonna be the privacy issue because it is on that busy road. So the fence is gonna be a huge expense. We're gonna focus our design around the kitchen because we feel like that's gonna be a selling factor in this area. And then we're gonna keep it pretty basic in the bedrooms and the bathrooms. Guys, unless you're the god of thunder, you shouldn't be doing most of the work on these flips yourself. It saves you time and it saves you money. You can do more flips in a year if you're paying other people to do it for you. That being said, demo's a lot of fun. Time for lunch. Dude, check this out, all this cheap plastic paneling. Turns out there's actually drywall behind here. Awesome. We were we were budgeting to have to redo all this sheetrock and now we don't have Sweet. to. Sweet. So all we have to do now is scrape this and paint and we are good to go. We just saved a ton of money on this. Yay, us. Hell yes. <laughs> Hey guys, back at the dance hall and we are getting foundation work done. Sometimes when you buy a house, the foundation is shifted with the soil underneath it. So we have to literally have crews dig out underneath the slab and put new piers to hoist up the slab to make everything level. You gotta do that before you can do any of the work inside because if you don't, otherwise all that stuff will get shifted and it'll crack and you have to redo all that work. By the way, the crews doing the foundation leveling some of the hardest working crews out there. These guys are shoveling by hand. That is tough work. How do I get out of here? So this could not be more the definition of blank slate for yeah. the kitchen, right? Check we have taken out. everything out down to the studs. And I don't know if you guys noticed, but we got rid of this beam. It wasn't load bearing, which way totally opens opened the space. up the space. Yeah. Makes a massive difference, and now we can actually breathe in this kitchen. I agree. Thank goodness that beam was not load bearing because that would have messed up our entire design plan. We need to talk about the bathrooms real quick. All right, let's go. Okay, so same thing in here. We've taken out literally everything. <laughs> <laughs> and since it's small, I think you can go funky with it. Really? Yes. You think? Get funky. Okay. I've got a lot of work ahead of me, so I'm gonna go work on a design plan for this one, and I will see you on the Flipster side. to do the, the design concept for the dance hall project and I've been playing the Vineyard Valley video game a little bit. I'm borderline obsessed. This thing is so fun. It kind of feels like it does in real life to design a house. I'm not gonna lie. Definitely they had their selections inspired by real interior designers you can tell. So let me show you this kitchen. I think it's looking modern and chic. What do you guys think? We've got a dark cabinetry with some light countertops some white uppers and surrounding our stainless steel appliances. And then I think we're gonna go with this light flooring. I was kinda wanting to mix it up in this house, but it looks good on the game. I think it's gonna look good in real life too. One thing this video game kind of inspired me was they had this cool geometric tile option. I think it's a little bold for this house in particular, but I've got just the place for it. I think if I can find these tiles, I'm going to lay them on the floor in the master bathroom. So let me jump on over to Pinterest and show you what I found in real life. 
So I found these geometric tiles that look very similar to the ones in the video game. And I think what I'm gonna do is use these in the guest bath and then contrast that with these same tiles in a dark color for the master, like this. Don't you think that's gonna look modern and chic? I do. Also, I found a picture that also looks very similar to the one I created in the video game with these dark lower cabinets and then the white uppers and surrounds. I think this picture is what I'm going for. What do you guys think? Is this gonna be a good look? Comment below. So you can see all of our choices that we've selected for this house on our Pinterest page, pinterest.com slash Austin Flipsters. But I think we're gonna need like one very special piece and have an idea for a great dresser. And so I think we're gonna go vintage shopping and see what we can find. So as part of our bathroom design plan for the master bath, we're really hoping to find some kind of mid-century piece that we can turn into a custom vanity. We think it'll just make this bathroom pop and shine and give it like a cool factor. So we're headed to a local vintage store here in Austin to just see what they have and see if we can find something to make work. Let's do it. Good thing we brought the truck. So originally I think we were gonna try and salvage the sheetrock that was on the ceiling, but ultimately there were just so many holes and it was gonna be such a pain to patch it, we just ripped it all down anyway. Yep, and here it is. Whoa, <laughs> some Texas snow right there. Who says it doesn't snow in Texas? Look at this thing, huh? Oh, gross. Yeah. Hey, Lauren. I'm not walking in that, sorry. Do you wanna build a <laughs> snowman? <laughs> the world's nastiest snowman. All right, so the bathrooms are shaping up. They actually, I think, look better with just sheetrock than they did previously. We have two bathrooms that are back to back here and we're actually gonna do kind of like a mirrored look. We're gonna have one that's lighter, one that's darker, but using the same materials, just in different color patterns. I think it's gonna be so cool. Stay tuned and see how it turns out. So it's been an expensive week here at the dance hall project. When we re-leveled the foundation, we broke the old cast iron pipes, which was 40, 50 years old. Sometimes it's salvageable, but when you're moving the slab that much, sometimes the pipes break. Unfortunately, it cost us about $6,000 to run all new PVC pipes all the way throughout the house. You can see it through the kitchen coming into the hallway. That was a big time and money setback, but it's finally done. We can finally get some floors and get moving on this project. The foundation is always gonna be a little off in houses in Austin. That's part of the soil here, and we just budget for it when we buy them. All right, so our roof's done. Yeah, I'm still not as convinced that we even needed one in the first place. It was- Dude, we're listing this thing for half a million dollars. It needs a new roof. Yeah. I'm sorry. Well, I know, it but- does. It does, people. I thought it was fine. This one looks good, but I, th I thought it was fine. No, no. Yeah, this is a new unit. I don't know why we didn't put it right here next to the, where we actually have a slab for it. We had to put it up on the back porch. This is looking stupid. I wonder if I could just. No, we can just leave it there, that's fine. the value on these floors. We use them at all our houses these days. Now that the foundation's been fixed, we've added this great wooden deck outside so people can really enjoy the outdoor space. I don't know if you recognize this, but these are the beams that were on the living room ceiling. We took them and put them on the front porch. It gives a lot of charm and character from the original house, kind of connects the old to the new, and it's free material and buyers love it. Anyway, I really love the way that these turned out. Speaking of the way it turned out, 
What are you wearing? Did you design a shirt without me? Introducing AF by Austin Flipsters. You got real AF, you got basic AF, oh legit gosh. AF. We got coffee mugs, they're hot AF. This is AF by Austin Flipsters, people. Get your merch while you can, link in description, people. It's hot. We're back out of the dance hall project. We got a roof on our project now. It's looking good out here. Uh, can I just say, what do you think you're doing? AF by Austin Flipsters is my merch. Speaking of looking good, I'm you're the one who always called me basic. I'm basic and proud, basic AF. You're just gonna own that? Hell yeah, I'm gonna own it. I'm gonna sell it too. We got merch on the link below. If you're basic, show it. Slider is going in as we speak. We've got our outer perimeter cabinetry installed. Still waiting on that island with banquette seating, but I think it's going to be awesome. We're painting it a navy blue, so it's really going to pop. Speaking of pop, come check out these tiles I found to go in the bathroom. They look exactly like those on the Vineyard Valley video game backsplash option. So the tile we've gone with is a light gray in here, and I think it'll contrast nicely with the master where we're choosing a darker tile. It's not in yet, or I'd show that to you too. So what, what are you doing? Wait, are you playing Vineyard Valley? What? I would uh, recognize that music anywhere. Yeah, hello, dude, you told me this was about a game about interior design. It is. Uh, you didn't tell me about the storyline, the plot. Oh, yeah, the storylines are fun. Hello, this is better than my stories, people. <laughs> Okay, the game has a whole plot line woven into it. Yeah, so the main character, Simone, is renovating her aunt's manor. Yeah, and her dad is dead. What happened to Raul? Who killed Raul? Hashtag, who killed Raul? Comment below, Where? what happened to Raul? We gotta talk about this love triangle between Simone and Wes mm -hmm. and Kai. Team Kai for life? You are not Team Kai. I'm totally Team Kai. He's got that cute charm. Yeah. Kai is a goofball and a loser who's d delivering pizzas. What do you have against the gig economy? People gotta make a living? I have nothing against the gig economy, but Wes is a hunky contractor who knows how to renovate a house. He knows about working with his hands and he's known Simone since they were kids. He's a hunk. They look great together. I feel like you're living vicariously through this guy. I'm just saying, you can't suck me in with this drama and not let me know what happens with Wes and Simone. You gotta play some more, get to a new level. All right, get and out of here. some clues. Get out of here so I can we play more. We actually do need to do some work though, so I think I need to take this. What am I gonna do? Work. It's looking good. Let's get the stager in here so we can sell this baby. Let's move. Are you guys ready for the big reveal? Because here we go. Gosh, look at this thing. It looks so good. What a transformation. I love the white with those dark contrasting shutters. And the roof, I think just adds that nice little pop of freshness. I think you were right on the roof. Thank you, thank you. And let's talk about those garage doors. Dude, they look great. I know, I put it out to our followers on Instagram. They picked the color, charcoal. If you guys aren't following us on Instagram, at Austin Flipsters, we're taking you along for the journey, letting you make design decisions along with us. Okay, I think the exterior looks great. Let's check out the inside. Let's go. Well, the outside is looking good, and the inside, even better. Whoa, wow. I feel like this turned out great. This is such a crazy transformation. This is awesome. Dude, do you remember what this space was like before? I do, I do. I think this space is so much more functional now that we've walled off this wall. You can put a couch along here as our stager has, or you can hang a TV. This is a beautiful way to stage this. Like, I love the simple sofa and chairs, and it looks so amazing with these floors. Agreed. Well, let's talk about this fireplace. Yeah. I'm so glad we were able to reuse elements from the original house for this fireplace. Like, 
that surrounds in my favorite brass. You were saying brass was having a moment and- it's having a major moment here. We, we've dedicated several moments in this house. <laughs> brass is making a statement. And also we were able to reuse the beams that were in the ceiling for this cool mantelpiece. I think it's really cool. I was really sad that we had to tear those down because that big pole in the middle was supporting the weight of all of them. But luckily we were able to repurpose it here for the mantle and for those pillars out front on the front porch. And I think it looks really cool. Hell yeah, it looks really cool. And it was free. Yay, double win. Uh, you wanna talk about this kitchen? Yeah, let's do it, the star of the show. We knew when we bought this house that this kitchen needed to make a statement and here she is. Statement made. She is making one heck of a statement, okay. I have to say. The whole flip hinged on really this space right here because yeah. we did not have enough room in here to do a kitchen and a dining space and a living space, but we somehow managed it in a way that doesn't feel like completely cramped. No, it feels totally spacious. I think we did exactly what we needed to do with the parameters we had in place. And our solution was to throw the banquette on the end of the island. It saves you really about three feet of space because you're able to buddy up right to this island. And I think this island is great prep space. Let's talk about the backsplash, but though, this I is love like- the backsplash. You went pretty bold. I had my doubts, okay. Mm -hmm. But I gotta say, I think you nailed it. And I think it does a great job of tying in the color, the navy color of the island with the brass accents of the hardware with the stainless steel. Really incorporates all our colors. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. We could cook something up on here. Got my favorite griddle. Yeah, you're like the flapjack master, remember? <laughs> Oh, hello there. Can I interest you in a pancake? A flapjack? Open up. <laughs> Let's talk about the brass over here because brass was having a moment. It's having a couple moments right here. What <laughs> Thoughts? Thoughts on the kitchen sink? It might have been having a little too, too many moments. I love the sink. The faucet is awesome, functional, beautiful at that. I'm not quite sure how I feel about the pendant that Dude, I chose to go here. This looks like you're about to interrogate somebody <laughs> with this thing. Where were you on the night of September 5th? I was watching the Flipsters because their new video just launched. <laughs> Are you subscribed? <laughs> With notifications. <laughs> okay, so I'm a little unsure about this one. Comment below what you think. Is this the right feature? Does it make a statement? Is it making the wrong statement? Is it too big, too small? Let us know in the comments. Okay. And one other great thing about this kitchen is you've got outdoor access from two areas. That's right. Which where do you want to go? Uh, let's see this one. Let's check it out. Check it out. Ah. Dance Hall has a backyard fit for a party. <laughs> so I think this outdoor space turned out awesome. Yeah, it's amazing. We didn't do a ton other than paint. And the main addition was we put on this roof, which is mm -hmm. makes all the difference in the world. It really feels private and cozy, but it's massive. Let's check out that secondary bedroom. Oh, hey. <laughs> Fancy meeting you here. <laughs> Yeah, so the master only really has access from one place now, but this one has two. The span is a thousand times better than what was here before. Do you remember the oh. Crayola crayon? Your your uh, fanny pack? My fanny pack 64 fans. Crayola. Fanny pack, yeah. Now it's sleek, it's modern. We went with a nice neutral palette in here and I think it's clean and fresh. So guest bath turned out great. We were able to find those gray geometric tiles like they had in the video game. I think they look awesome, as does the brass mirror and brass accents in the light fixture and the faucet. Okay, so I'm super excited about the master bath. This is a statement for sure. We had a lot of fun designing this one. If you remember the journey we took, we found that antique dresser and we turned it into a vanity. We added a bowl sink on top and it kind of has like an industrial vibe in here. I'm, I'm digging it. We found this cool mirror and also we played off of the geometric tile in the guest bath, but we went with a dark black one here, which I really think pops and makes this space. Continue that into this glass storage shower where we again have the hexagonal um, shaped tile in kind of a fun pattern. So again, a small space, but I think this is really pretty stylish and I'm excited about how it all turned out. Okay, the master turned out amazing. Look I'm at so this. excited for this room. And I'm so glad we went with the bold accent wall. It was a bold choice. It was bold, but I think it works. I think it gives this room so much style. You finally gave in to all the comments that said you don't use any colors. I know, everybody's commenting, all we do is paint everything white, but well, listen, here you go, audience. A gray wall instead a of a white wall. wall. But seriously, when you're flipping, one of the reasons we use white is because it's more neutral. It appeals to a broader audience. And then you can add those pops of color with staging and maybe a few little accent pieces like the backsplash or the island in the kitchen. And then let the buyers kind of choose their own pop of colors. You don't want to alienate people. 
Right, but I don't think we will with this. I think it turned out great. Let's talk about this wall. We talked about it in the living room, but again, how much function do you gain by not having access to your living room off your master? It makes this whole area feel cozy and secluded. It's like a little private oasis, a little private retreat. And look, you know, you've got your own little, um, you know, I, I assume this is a reclaimed horse saddle with a, you know, double pillow. It's very, it's very comfortable. You know, you got your pet plant here. This is, this is luxury, people. This is why you buy an Austin Flipster's house. Picture yourself living this dream. By the way, guys, we put links in the description of these videos to all the products that we use, the flooring, the staging. And if you want, you know, artwork like this uh, Skittles acne infested deer, click the link below, get you some. It's hot, people, it's hot. House looks amazing, dude. It does. Let's go figure out how, what we're gonna list this thing for. Let's do it. I think the house turned out great. Yeah, I'm really proud of this one. I think, Thank like, style-wise, this is probably my favorite one. I agree, I think we took it up in level. Hell yes. Let's talk about the price on this thing. Yeah. Normally, I would say in this neighborhood, we could get 500,000 all day, but we're still on a busy street. Yeah, I'm a little nervous about that. So I think in order to get this thing sold, we dropped that price to like 485. Okay. We, we've got enough margin, even if we have to reduce it, I think we can come off even that number. Yeah, let's start there. I think under five is gonna get people's attention and let's get people through the door so they can see this great design. All right, let's do it. And now for the final numbers on this house. We bought the property for $315,000 and our all-in renovation costs were $81,000. That makes our all-in total investment $396,000. We got a little aggressive with the price and listed it for $485,000. If we can sell it at that price after $19,000 in closing costs, that would net us a profit of $70,000. Of course, we've got plenty of margin in this deal if we need to cut price to get it sold quicker. Be sure to follow us on Instagram, at Austin Flipsters, for an update when the property sells. Thanks, Flipsters, for watching. As always, please subscribe with notifications so you stay up to date on the latest. Dude, what level are you on? Uh, 175. What? Have you been doing nothing but playing this game? Yeah, man, they sponsor this video. I'm gonna give it my best effort. It is a great game, I'm not gonna lie. For real, it's a lot of fun. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and thanks so much to our sponsor Vineyard Valley for sponsoring the video. Make sure you guys click the link in our description or go to jamcity.me slash Austin Flipsters and you can download Vineyard Valley for free. The game's a ton of fun and we thank them so much for sponsoring this video. Hey guys. Hey, Hi. how's it going? I hate to interrupt you, but I need to test our emergency speakers and I think you're doing video. Yes. So that's going to goof things up for you. Okay. Uh, it shouldn't take more than about 10 or 15 minutes. Okay. Okay. So, sorry. <laughs> okay. When's it, when, how, how long do we have till it comes on? Chris, go ahead and start talking. Uh -oh. Testing one. <laughs> Emergency CPA. <laughs>